Lost on a buzzer beater at home against Maryland. And to your point, tightly playing a top 15 team in Iowa as Cassidy Harden knocks down a trip. One of your star players. Mm. It, it's just tough, especially when she's your captain. And we were talking about how invaluable that aspect of the game is. Janae Terry gives Purdue a 7-0 run to start. With a seven-point lead, they've gone right down inside, whether it be in transition or in the quarter court. They're taking it to the rack. And a three goes down there for Brooke Schrammick. The ball is getting stuck on one side for Purdue. They, they need to look to maybe reverse it or make a move like that. They just keep feeding <laughs> Harper. Get it in there. Just refocus and embrace 2023. Hey, Terry with the wiggle defended well by Williams. Smith picks it up. No. Won't in the putback. Yes. Third opportunity, and Purdue pays it off. And Wisconsin is such a young team. Nine freshmen, seven true freshmen on this squad. And you can see they just look a little disjointed on the offensive end in terms of where to put the ball. And Terry's unabated to the rim. Preserve possessions. If you're Wisconsin, what Wisconsin likes to do offensively, Matt, they like to utilize a lot of the shot clock, go deep into the shot clock. But again, now 20 frame points. She is doing an incredible job inside, just catching, keeping the ball high. There's no double team coming her way, so she's individually covered and she is making Wisconsin pass. How about that yes. from Wilkie? Purdue's defense. Extending the perimeter pressure out a little bit further, and it leads to an interception. LaBarbera picks it off. Spinning to the basket and lays it home. I don't know how that pass got in there, but it got in there. That was really risky. Harper a three. Puts it in. That's what Wisconsin was not doing to start the game in that first quarter. It was a 10-2 lead for Purdue. There she is on the defensive end, deflecting the pass. Extra pass, finds Pospisilova underneath. So Wisconsin, they've tried some 3-2 matchup. This time they're sticking with their man-to-man -man where they like to switch and bump. You saw the switch and bump right there on that action. Petrie, much needed three. La Barbara, from straight away. Knocking it down, and LaBarbera now has 13 to lead all Badgers in scoring. Now she's at Wisconsin, and the two are finally able to link up. It has been a good connection with those two for sure. Wilkie rims in a triple. Down to learn. Ends a three-minute drop without a field goal for the Boilermakers. Five to shoot in the quarter. Terry down the lane. Oh, and beats the buzzer for the Boilermakers. Who don't play a lot, right? Who come in and impact the game in a positive way. Incredible. Dip. Lays it in. That is Smith on the break. Back into the ball game now for Coach. And a turnover. Terry up the handle. But both teams only scored four points, respectively, in the third quarter. So I think whoever gets those paint points down the stretch like that is going to make a big difference. And it's a game of inches, and that was about two inches from the sideline. Wow, Special Alba puts it in. They need to have consecutive possessions like that where Paz Pichalova can get her shot up. Oh, how about that take from Jayla Smith? And then trust her help. Where's the help? Help side needs to come and congest the area as well. But Barbara had it knocked loose. Second chance, no. Third opportunity counted in the foul. Not long. Got to have her back. Petrie. Knocks it down with a hand in her face. What a shot by the Rutgers transfer. When this game was tight, it was a three-point game. At one point, it was a two-point game in the third quarter. Right. Well, she came in and rocked it. A lot of respect between those two coaches, both on their second.
seasons at the helm. Ava Learn, absolutely magnificent off the bench today. 12 points that ties the season high.